Okay, so what we're gonna do is Don't we're gonna we finally do who's monster's uh, strongest fighter. Uh, and the way we're gonna do it is we have to wait time uh, until late night. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now. Now we go ahead and do uh, the quest. Talk to Patton around, uh, about recent conversation topics. Okay, alright. Hello. Oh, we got a cutscene. Let's go. <sighs> Shame I only get to listen in from the other side of the window and don't get to join in the debate. I'd love to give my two cents. Say what? What's up? What's up? Hmm? Paimon wants in. Paimon's so Recently, nosy all the, all the time. the tavern have been debating the exact same topic. Who is the strongest fighter in Mondstadt? Probably Jane, strongest by the fighter? way. Jane or Dilluk? Hmm. Must be someone who can floor a whole gang of hilly churls with just one punch. <laughs> I do that for fun, yeah. Then Paimon nominates you. I say no. Anyway, not right now. Is general agreement in the city on who it is, or...? <laughs> expecting people to come to a swift and straightforward consensus in the city mm. of freedom is like expecting fishermen's toast to drop out of the sky. Everyone's got their own opinion, backed up by a unique set of cherry-picked information. But let's be honest, that's what makes the discussion so impassioned and entertaining. True. Mainstream opinion is polarized, with most people supporting one of two candidates. One is the Dandelion Knight, the other is the Dark Knight Hero. Uh, the Dark Knight Hero, in my opinion. Anyone vote for me? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh Paimon votes for you. Oh, Paimon, well, thank you. Let's go into the tavern and talk to the patrons. Maybe we'll pick up some juicy gossip. Let's fight whoever oh, is the strongest fighter. I do Fuck envy it. your life of leisure. But don't mind me, of course. <sighs> I guess I'll just get back to work. Hmm. I had a lot of fun fighting the Shogun when we had to. I would love to have the opportunity to have more like playable characters that are actually like not against us, but that you know have conflict with us. Like I, I, I really wanted to fight Sarah, for example, when we were in Asuma, right? I think that that is super cool. I would love to have the opportunity to do that. What'll it be today? Uh, obviously with Dilok it will be fun, but like in general, who is the strongest fighter in Mondstadt? The strongest fighter? I don't pay much attention to that sort of thing. Yeah, right. Huh? Paimon thought bartenders <laughs> had some kind of special information sources. Just like they have an exclusive supplier of wine. Exactly. That's what Paimon was getting at. <laughs> I have no involvement in any intelligence gathering operation. Yeah, right. But if you made me pick someone, it would be the Dark Knight hero. <laughs> I've heard some stories about him. Apparently, he once rescued a city dweller from the Abyss Order. There it is! The barman's top secret intelligence! Yeah. Speaking of the Abyss Order, their minions are really stirring up trouble all over the place, aren't they? Let's talk to... to you. Hello, Yak. Hey, I'm doing some adventurous training. Alcohol tolerance training, to be precise. <laughs> Alcohol training? tolerance training, alright. Uh, who is Monsters the strongest fighter? The fighter is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In my opinion, that would be the finest adventurer of them all. Stanley. Guildmaster Cyrus is up there with the toughest, too. But only Stanley can take on the bloodthirsty beasts of the Mare Javari. I don't think Stanley can be up in the conversation, the dude. Javari? Sounds terrifying. Do you think you'd be scared if you were faced with one of those? I'd beat it to a pulp. Yeah! Bam! Wham! Pow! Yeah. Alright, what about you? Hi! <laughs> Are you here to try Monstead's famous wine, too? Uh, the strongest fighter of them all? 
That would be Jean, obviously. I agree with that, <laughs> actually. Why? <laughs> Grandmaster Jean is so strong. Oh, she can no. take out a ruin guard with just a few slashes. I agree with it. Jean has to be up in the conversation and 100%. She can wipe out the three hilly trill tribes at Dada Upa Gorge all by her. So, mm -hmm. otherwise, we wouldn't have such a carefree existence hmm. with nothing to do. I'm talking about, you know, it's yourself alone, because I also have a lot of to, a, a stuff to do. Meanwhile, this guy is drunk as a skunk. <laughs> Why? Drunk as a skunk. And I'm guessing we have to go up to find the other one? No. Then who? Ah, you. Hello, hey, Six Finger Jose. Do you hey, amiga. Hear my latest composition? I put my whole heart into it, and also my soul. How about it, amigo? You, you the subtitles say amiga because that's the female for a uh, friend in Spanish, but the dude it still says amigo. Uh just I don't know. I'm pointing it out. He's supposed to be. Why is he Latino, or why does why does he represent someone? Like maybe not Latino, but. Spain, I guess? It's weird. Like, why is it named Jose and why why are you talking in Spanish? Next thing, he's gonna be calling me Ese. Uh, who's the strongest huh? fighter? The most macho in Mondstadt. Why are you- She's a little girlie who wears red. A girl dressed in red. That's right. Ah, Amber. I found this out one day about half a month ago, when I went up to the Stormbear Mountains looking for inspiration for my new song. Guess what happened? What happened? I witnessed the most powerful destructive force I have ever seen in my life. I'm telling you, it completely changed the whole landscape in that part of the mountains. Hmm. Holy moly! That you were talking about a bush and I saw Amber. this little girly in red clothing running into the distance, leaving a trail of destruction in her wake. Hmm. <sighs> but I don't know if anyone will believe me. Now that you mention it, the idea of a tiny little girl mm. holding that much destructive power is a little far-fetched. True. You want to know what I think? I think she has a treasure nobody else knows about. Maybe even the most powerful treasure in all of Mondstadt. Did you say treasure? Did Paimon imagine that or did you hear it too? Oh, Paimon, you it's just want the treasure. just a guess. I mean... No. It's a bard's razor-sharp intuition. I don't buy it. How can you say such a thing? So, this girl, what's her name? Ah, uh, I... I do not know her name. Uh, I do not see her often in Mondstadt. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, I'm telling the truth. You gotta believe me. Hmm. I thought you were talking about Amber, dude. On, that makes much, much more sense to me. Uh, everyone has not just that, but some people's choice of a candidate was just plain weird. If everyone's got their own opinion and can't be persuaded, yeah, who cares about persuading them? We're gonna find out who Mondstadt's strongest fighter is. Eureka! Paimon's got it. Hold the tournament. Let's go see what Jean says. Ah. Bet the knights have got an official ranking table for this kind of thing. Uh, who do you think I'll be there? Guess it depends if they counted all your shenanigans or not. They should. Don't worry though. Paimon has full confidence in your abilities. Hell yeah. Let's go. Okay, so we have to go to Yin. It's been a while since we even spoke to Yin at all. Okay, let's go. I will assume that yeah, for real Yin should be in the in the conversation for the strongest fighter in Mondstadt. I mean, like come on. Master Yin, you know what I'm saying? Then Noel has to be up there as well, from what we've seen from her. She's just incredible, honestly. Amber, I don't know. I, I will think that it's a nice guess, but not exactly. I don't think she's like the strongest. 
Physical weight, no, she isn't. I am up. Doesn't make her bad, though. Oh, Master Jean! Hmm. Sorry to bother you. We're collecting intel on the strongest fighter in Mondstadt. Do you have, uh, one of those official Knights of Favonius verified ranking table thingies? <laughs> strongest fighter in Mondstadt? Huh. I am sorry, but I cannot help. I do not have any relevant documentation on that topic. Oh, well that sucks. <laughs> Paimon was hoping she would at least make the top five. Yeah. <laughs> well, although I do not have the data to make such an assessment, I will say that my faith in our honorary knight's abilities has never wavered. Which reminds me, recently one of the Abyss Order's mages has been active near the city. Although he is keeping a low profile. Do you want me to take if care of it? If you are staying around Mondstadt, please be on the lookout for danger. Hmm. Given your, well, high-ranking fighting strength, I trust you will be able to help keep the area safe. Awesome. She's playing along. I bet that she thinks this is stupid, right? If it was like, she's like, yeah, dude, okay, the, the strongest fighter, right? Like, okay. I believe that you have a high-ranking uh, strength, so yeah. Um, Paimon, there is no ranking table. Well, to bits is the right thing to do. Damn right. <laughs> that we can like agree on. Enthusiasm. It is infectious. But be careful out there. All right. The little girl dressed in red. Hello. Uh, I, I'm fine. I'm not hurt. Sorry for bumping into you. You dropped something. Hey, look. Explosion inside city wall. Grounded by thy wall. Explosions can hurt people. Yin can be dreadful. Monster be bombed. Clee be doomed. There's some writing on here. What the hell? Explosion inside city wall. Grounded be thy woe. Explosions can hurt people. Jean can be dreadful. Hmm? Monster be bombed. Clee be doomed? Yikes. Mr. Kaya wrote these down for me. Um, they're, um, survival rules. Yeah, right. Survival Mr. rules. Mr. Kaya. Yeah, rules that I must absolutely never break under any circumstances. Oh, I, 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 I do believe that. Something terrible now. would happen. I know. I don't. I don't know. I think it's be. I don't know what to believe because, like, if there are rules, maybe Kaya tried to reach like an, an arrangement with this girl. Um, but maybe I'm tripping and I'm falling for it. Kaya writes like this. Yep. Mm -hmm. I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Klee. My name is JD. Hi. And Paimon's name is... Well, Paimon. Of course, Paimon. I've heard all about you guys. You're the honorary knight who helps Mondstadt. Wow. More recognition. <laughs> Yay. Paimon is so happy right now. I heard it from Amber. But wait, no. There's no time for this right now. I'm dealing with a big emergency. I grabbed my map and ran as fast as I could all the way here. What's wrong? The, the treasure I buried in the Whispering Woods. It's gone. Did you say buried treasure? Uh, I think she needs her help, dude. Exactly what Paimon was thinking. Lost treasure is a big deal. Let us help you find it. Yay, thanks, you guys. Here. Here's where the map says the treasure should be. I put a nice invisible it. map, by the way. I also put a wooden sign in the ground at the place where I buried it to make it easier to find. Paimon is starting to understand how this treasure went missing so easily. <laughs> Come on, Miss Honorary Knight, let's go. All right, let's go. I don't know if I should trust you, you know, this so easily, but you do, you know. You look, um, 
possible, I guess. And you need help. We don't say no to commissions, so... You know, there you go, I guess. Mm. <laughs> I just, the whole thing about... Like, Jin can be dreadful. I don't think that's something that Kaya would write. That is something that Lee is, is thinking. Maybe. But I don't know. Seem really busy recently, so Klee must not disturb them. Hmm. But now Klee has a new friend. I never thought I'd have a new big sister to help me. <laughs> and you'd be sick, big so sister, happy. to help me. Oh, this is just odd. Hello. We're here. This is the place. Look, this is where my huge treasure was buried. And where there's I don't know why I don't buy it, dude. On the ground. Wait, who's that over there? It's an abyss mage. Hey, maybe he's the one Jean was warning us about. What's that in his hand? Hmm. <gasps> my treasure. What? <laughs> I see the little girl has brought her friends with her. Time for a change of plan. Hey, you! If you think you're so tough, get back here and fight! After him. What's an abyss mage? I play in the forest all the time, but I've never seen one before. Hey, dude. Hey, Come back. so cute, soft, and fluffy. I want to pet... Uh, you shouldn't hey, pet these things. I hate them. Especially with the Hydro ones. Oh, Fuck them. You fools think I would give this up so easily after what I've been through to acquire it? Mm. <laughs> Come on. Hi, Dalit. How are you? Do you have a nice dinner? I met Lee. Yeah. So far, she seems childish, uh, but cool either way. Oh, she's the red burning girl racer she was talking about. Okay, I remember, yeah, and, and racer was always uh, also talking about Lisa uh, one time. I remember that. Lee wants to oh, pet an abyss right. mage, by the way. Grandmaster Jean says that stealing is wrong. Mm. But I don't know if I, I trust the innocence that Klee uh, is trying to say she has. But I don't know, maybe she is very Please. innocent. <laughs> that girl's lucky she didn't come alone. Otherwise, I... <laughs> mm. Oh, come on, dude. Judgment. Come on. Flea also mentioned Albe Albedo, uh, by the way. Which I thought was interesting. There's meat stuck in between my teeth now. Oh no. I get rid of it. I gotta know what to tell you. Brush your teeth, dude. Flea and Arbedo are basically siblings. Wow. Okay, that I had no idea about. I want to, to meet. Um, I don't know if I'm saying it right. Albedo or Arbedo. But I want to meet him 100%. Especially because, like, you know, there's a, a, a small possibility of some Sucrose. Um, background, some lore, and that will be cool. But just in general, he seems very beloved by the by the fan base. So I would go? love to go to to. to... He just disappeared. Hmm. What's going on? I would love to meet him. I think I found the thing. Okay, it's gonna take forever. 
He said that um, she went ahead and said that uh, Razor and Alberto were, were extremely uh, busy right now, so she could not bother them. That's what she said. Hey, Klee. Then he has no way out. Hey, are you good? Klee, do you need a rest? Why don't you wait here while we get your treasure back for you? No, I'm coming with you. Yeah. It's my treasure that Mr. Fluffball stole, and it's up to me to get it back. I admire your courage. <laughs> don't worry, Klee is a big girl. Come on, Miss Honoraria. You don't look Let's like it, but you know. Who am I to, to judge? I carry a... a um, fairy in my pocket every day. Like, what the hell? Yeah, let's go. <sighs> yeah. Screw it. Are we gonna get to test uh, Klee, by the way? Is she... Yes! So she's a playable character, huh? This is cool. I don't know if I like her necessarily because she seems really slow for what I'm used to, especially from Yanfei. But still, I'm gonna try her IT soon. What if I told you Klee was actually 20 years old? Man, like, I won't believe you because I'm like, what do you want me to say about the game, really? When it comes to the ages and stuff like that. Sean Lee being 6,000 years old and so on, right? I can believe you. But she does. She just doesn't seem like it, right? But then again, Chi Chi is, is a zombie. She's been alive for who knows how long. She has a, a cute design, all in all. But like, yeah, she she most definitely doesn't seem like it. But then again, you know. Oh yeah, I'm not telling you. What the hell, dude? Then how old is she? You made me explain all of that just for nothing. Okay, I, yeah, I don't know about ages uh, in the game. I prefer, like, you know, Paimon must be, like, 500,000 years old, who knows. Again, she could be a god, a goddess, and we just don't know. By the way, Clay seems interesting to, to use, by the way. It's in, it isn't, like, super overpowered, but it still is nice. She seems 9 or something. Yeah. She's super strong, though. I wonder if anybody mains her at all. <laughs> it doesn't seem like legit she's like super low key when it comes to characters. Nobody ever mentions her. I don't know why. Uh, but in the fan base, in the things that I've seen on Twitter and YouTube and so on, nobody is like, hey, you know what? Like, Klee is cool. Or Klee is my favorite character. Or Happy birthday, Klee. Right? Which is weird. She's not, not, she's just not very good. Many other DPSs are better than her. Ah, okay. No wonder. She, like, again, I think she does a lot of damage, but she seems, like, so freaking slow. Like, I prefer Yanfei 100%. I am enjoying having her maxed out right now, though. But that's about it. Hi, hello, welcome back. Boom, boom, boom. We can get through this because she's so freaking small. There you go. And now, hello. Get destroyed. Beautiful. She goes through these 
without being touched, right? Or can you be touched? Huh. Klee gameplay, yeah. The rare side of Giga of Klee gameplay. She's very low key. No pun intended. Yo, let's go. The fact that not many people use it makes me want to pull her and use her just for the hell of it. Although, it, you know, I find it hard to believe that I will replace my Yan Fei with her. But like, you know, it's just really cool to have characters that not many people use or like or have. Like again, Kokomi. But Kokomi is, the, is still different. Well, no, that now that I think about it, maybe it was just like a double in Tantra rather than a pun. But yeah. Never, never mind. Like, damn. No! Okay, so please dead. Yo, Klee, are you good? Oh, we went, we went back to the whole thing, huh? Jeez. Let me heal you. But yeah, it was more like, yeah, the Klee and the, it was a wordplay, but it wasn't like a pun. I'm sorry. <laughs> LOL, my theme name is the Fishy Fishies. Dude, that is a great name. Way better than the usual, you know, <laughs> the usual names and super auto bits. By the way, everybody who's watching should 100% go ahead and, and do uh, and give uh, super auto bits a, a chance. It's a fantastic game. I really wish we found more people who play it so we can do a tournament. The wet balls, yeah, that is that is an amazing. What happened? That is an amazing um, name. You followed me. Walking, talking, super auto pets ad. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, yeah. But the obvious, the obvious match. Yeah. Oh yeah. What are you gonna do? Yeah. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Human proclivity to gossip has provided us with everything we need. Jeez. We learn that your little red friend had mm. a position, the most powerful treasure in all of Mondstadt. How does the that even happen? Is now in my hands. There is nothing Why are you awarding that? Now your precious treasure shall be your it does look kind of menacing, no, no, to be fair. Wait! Don't touch it! Huh? <laughs> oh, how you fret now. Your predicament is finally clear to you. Now, what have we here? A flame symbol. <laughs> touch it, dude. I kind of want to see what happens to you. I hate all... Yeah. I hate all, all abyss mages. The precious treasury no. friendship. Oh no! I broke the survival rules. Explosions can hurt people. Gene can be dreadful. <sighs> the whole gene can be dreadful. I cannot believe that it ended up being true that Kaya wrote that. I cannot believe it. I thought that Kaya was a goody goody. He will never talk bad about Gene. But I guess it's, it's a way to show Klee what it, what could happen if you blow up blow people up. Come on, calm down. But it does not make sense. I mean, I'm guessing what, what they mean is more like, if you low people up, Jin is gonna come true and is gonna be dreadful to you. That's what I think. It should be immune to pyro damage. Oh, the, the Abyss Mage. Yeah, now that I think about it. That's a great, that's a great um, point. You made sure work of that abyss mage. No wonder Glee was rumored to be the strongest fighter in Mondstadt. Yeah, he was a pyro. Number one is never picking a fight with. Yo, we found a blood hole on. on... Hold on. What we found a blood hole on on the 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 story. 
Yo, Mihoyo, if you're watching this, you know, we found a game uh, game breaking glitch. And I think that the only way to, to uh, you know, compensate us will be like, I don't know, 50,000 uh, Primus just for the hell of it. Um, you know, it will be cool. I'm just throwing the idea out there. Um, if not, um, then I, I don't know what to tell you. I think this is unacceptable. Uh, the game is broken. This story is not uh, well written. How dare you have a pyro mage blow up like that? That doesn't make any sense. We want we want the primus. Um, uh, otherwise, you know, we're gonna have to take legal um, legal issues against you. And uh, watch it. Watch him just take down all my videos. <laughs> Just like in in like copyright strike, copyright strike, copyright strike, like fucking. Don't I? Oh no. Yeah, Paimon ate my Primus. Paimon always eats my Primus. Sometimes uh, something to do with the survival rules. Yeah, I want to know about it. I want. I think Kaya wrote that. Like Lee said. Head there to continue the quest. Oh, there's a uh, chest right here. Let's go. Okay, it's cool that the, the mage died, by the way. I appreciate that, Tons. I hate the mages. Like, again, especially the Hydra ones. Hydra ones are the worst. The, the fucking the bubbles, everything about them just sucks. Hello. Yes. Yeah, they're probably gonna tell us what all it is saying, which is like, uh, they are probably like just resistant but not immune. What does one minute feel like an hour now? Uh, what do you mean? Like it passes way too quickly or way too slow? Because to me, it's way too quickly actually. Yo, it's Klee and Jin. Hello. Mm -mm. Klee, you're here too. She came in to turn herself to, uh, into into. I turned myself the, in. Yeah, huh? into Jean. Oh no! My 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 bomb. I I hurt someone. I broke the rules. I'll never see the light of day. See, again. there you go. That was made up so that please stop blowing people me. up. You said someone was injured. Where are they? Um, too slow. I mean, it, that always happens when you're waiting for something specifically. Like when you're like, dude, in one minute I'm gonna get like my delivery to me. Or I'm gonna get this, that to me. It always feels like that. that's like an hour, right? But when you're like, dude, I don't know, I want to, to take advantage of this hour. It, it feels like a minute. It's insane. Why is that? The person that Lee blew up was uh, an amazed mage. But Mr. Fluffball mm. was only a thief. He didn't deserve to blow up. Yes, he did. Hey, come on now. Paimon already told you that the Abyss Mages are the bad guys. Yeah. And actually, they're the worst kind of bad guys you can imagine. They don't just hate the good guys. They hate all mm. people. Their enemy is humanity itself. Mr. Fluffball By the way, my brother works for them. a bad guy on purpose? <laughs> Mr. Fluffball is the enemy of humanity. Exactly. Wh what? I don't get it. This was an oversight on my part. I did not tell you these things before because you are still young. In fact, oh, so she is still young. A hostile force in Monster, I mean, it makes sense because of the, her design, but um, you never know. Like, look at Paimon. Because a monster's most powerful treasure. Uh -huh. That's it. Paimon understands that. Tracking down poor Klee because they heard rumors about her treasure. Mm. Just like the way Paimon's first reaction was to try and get her hands on. Uh, no. To try and get the facts. On there are the a couple of pins in the middle of the story and every little story that Paimon, like, legit wants, like, you know, treasure and power and money. Um, but usually like a lot of and, and food, but usually like power. It has to do with power. It's the same with with the Kaya quest. I remember that that she wanted to go ahead and find the, the hidden treasure for some reason. 
and not tell Kaya about it? I don't know, man. I just, I wouldn't be surprised if they decided to do the swerp and then be like, hey, Paimon, you know, she's the final boss. Here you go. Right? Like, she's evil. So, does that mean... You'll be kind of cheap, but I can see it happening. I will allow you to take part in the next Ludi Harpastum. Ludi Harpastum? Whoa! I have no idea what that is. I'm so happy for you. Miss Honorary Knight, you've got to come too. whoop de doo It's a happy ending. Except... Except what? Klee, where did you hide the treasure to begin with? Uh, I... Um... <laughs> Were you trying to blow up the fish in Starfell Lake again? I wasn't! I swear I wasn't! Uh, she's giving us that look that means play along. Oh, Klee? no. Klee? I myself to solitary confinement. <laughs> hmm. on bed. Klee must it. get bored in there all by herself. What do you mean by hints? Ah, uh, like, I get it. Like, I understand that her character is kind of like, at the same time, comedic relief. Like, most of the time. But it's the way that she behaves, right? It's the way that she speaks. And and the way that she seems like sometimes a bit too selfish. Uh, and too, I don't really care. <sighs> uh, that's what I mean. But maybe, once again, maybe I'm just tripping. Maybe I'm just the one who, who sees it that way. But I just feel like there are a couple of things written in her character that makes it very, very unique. Uh... She, yeah, she cares about food and treasure, but also like a couple of times before. I wish I could remember like in a specific time right now, but I'm she's sure that in hardship. this story, there's she been a couple of times before in which she's like, hey, by the way, like power, like, oh, a very powerful tool, a very powerful weapon. Let me go ahead and find out what that what that is, right? Almost immediately, like, hey, let's go. But why do you care, right? And, and once again, why do you care about treasure? And what do you care about power and all of that? Like, it doesn't make any sense. I understand food, but all those little things are like, hmm, that makes, that's a bit suspicious to me. The subbing thing and, and the voice acting was kind of cringy. Yeah. Yeah, that is true. I, I, I don't like the, like, the, the glee. Ah, this is in the way. Find the door uh, of the confinement in the room. Okay, hold on. Where the hell is it? In the Knight's headquarters. It is higher. Yeah, Paimon shouldn't care about treasure, but also like about weapons and stuff like that. Like, what do you care? Oh no. You keep dying at, at five wins. <laughs> on on auto bits, oh no. Yo, it's Hila Musk. Okay, I do not know where the... The thing is... Oh! This is it! This is Solitary confinement. confinement, are you kidding me? Wood! That's your name! Are you kidding me? Guess who? That's yeah. voice I hear! Need help us in out of this joint? <laughs> This is like the, the second time that we try to help people get out of jail. I can't. Klee needs to be a good girl and think about what she did. Stop tempting me. Mm. Anyway, while I'm grounded, I'm making an extra special new treasure. The Ludi Harpastum version. Um, mm. when you say treasure... Yeah, what do you mean by that? <laughs> I made it into the shape of a Harpastum and everything. It looks so cute. Another bomb. Just wait for Ludi Harpastum. Oh yeah, they're gonna love I don't it. think so, Klee. Hey, you should stop. Was listening to this. Klee might find herself grounded for an awful lot longer. Hello. Oh my Lady god, Lama dude. Arcon protect you. Yo, it's been completed. Was that it though? There has to be a follow-up, right? Or nah? Delusion. Okay, hold on. Let me get out. Or was this like this is legit like the ending? 
She's gonna keep working in bombs. Not what I wanted to do. It's over! Oh no! Oh well. You know, that was a... Oh, okay. <gasps> we can unlock! Uh, Yin, Benti, and Mona, right? Benti. Okay, but we can... We have to do it... On the next stream. Because it is almost 3 a.m. And... Uh, all I had in my mind was doing the monster's uh, greatest fighter or strongest fighter, but we can do Benti next time um, And then maybe Barbara and then the grinding that we usually do but yes, we have we have to end it for now um, I was just thinking that I could go like 20 more minutes or something like that for uh, Klee But you know since there isn't anything else, uh, we're gonna leave it for now um, Let me pick up the achievements. That was really short but it was, you know, kind of sweet. It was interesting for sure. Well, don't you think Paimol's goal is to help Traveler defeat the unknown god? And for that, he, he needs good weapons so that he can be stronger because his original power show sealed. It makes sense. Yeah. I mean, it does. Like, I'm not... All I'm saying is that there is no specific reason as to why Paimon is around us. Um, Maybe it could be, it could be like... Hey guys, like this is like a way to get close to the traveler so that she can go ahead and gather intel, gather power, and then become stronger as she turns out to be like evil. But it could like that could be kind of cheap. So it could just be that Paimon is just Paimon. She's just Paimon. She maybe just isn't like something special. She just happened to be there with us. And she's a really good friend, you know? But there are a couple of hints in the way that she behaves that is kind of. To me, it's kind of strange. Um, depending on the situation, and especially like early, you know, trying to care about treasure, but caring about weapons, but caring about uh, food, it's fine. But that's that's what I meant. Um, let me go ahead and pick up all the... Yeah. All the achievements as well. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, but anyway, that's what I mean. But once again, I'm just like, I have, I guess I have trust issues with, you know, video game characters and, and so on. And I remember that I got my my heart broken a bit with Child because I was like, no, we shouldn't judge him because he's of a Tui. And then he was like, by the way, I'm going to try to kill you. Um, so that sucked. Um, but that's about it, honestly. Um. Uh, maybe I'm just tripping and uh, maybe I'm just I'm in the wrong and Paimon there you go there she is Paimon is just a really cool character that happens to be kind and cares about us and that's about it um but yeah anyway <laughs> I'm gonna um this was the the end of the the story quest we're gonna do Benti we're gonna do it on the next window but we're gonna do Benti for sure 